Today we're gonna compare tacos. Be Taco Bell versus Del Taco of Calhoun, Georgia. I'm a Del Taco in Calhoun, Georgia. We're gonna compare Del Taco to Taco Bell. There's really no other players in the business around here that I'm aware of, not in the, in the fast food business. I picked up Taco Bell and uh, Cartersville because the one across the street from the new Del Taco here burned down. I've got some hard tacos and I've got some soft tacos. All, they're standard meat tacos. They're all were ordered with sour cream. It's been my experience in the past, especially with uh, Taco Bell, that they short you on the sour cream. But anyway, let's get on with this. Del Taco just opened up here in Calhoun and I wanted to check it out. This is the taco from, uh, from Del Taco. Got plenty of cheese in it, uh, plenty of ingredients. This is Taco Bell. It's a little smaller, there's less lettuce. The Del Taco, this is the Taco Bell. Now, the bite test. It tastes good, kinda like a taco. I can take the taste of taco sauce in it. A little tight dash of that, the cheese. Now, they grate all their cheese by hand in the restaurant. Now we're gonna try a bite of the other one. Surprisingly enough, I got some sour cream in that one. Wow. There's about half the amount of meat, half the amount of lettuce, and like a sixteenth the amount of cheese on it. So Del Taco wins on that. Still haven't reached the sour cream yet. Del Taco, don't be short me on the sour cream. Taco Bell, a mouthful of lettuce. You got to quit being so stingy with the meat. But I got sour cream. That's a first. I wonder if they forgot my sour cream. You know, there's a scant amount in there. What is it with sour cream in taco places? You can't ever get them to give you any. It must be expensive. I gotta have me a drink intermission here. The weird thing about Del Taco is on their combos, they give you french fries. I'm sorry, I'm so hungry. The french fries are pretty good. They're fresh. They're crinkle fries. I just think it's kind of strange to eat fries with Mexican food. Seems sort of out of place in a taco place. Because we have to do the comparison on the soft tacos. But before I can do that, I have to eat these tacos. I wonder what happened to the sour cream. I gotta have my sour cream. I don't want to eat half of my lean lean here in the car. It attracts rodents. Ah! There's the sour cream. It finally showed up. Sour cream. A little bit at the end. And let's say goodbye to this Taco Bell taco while we're at it. Hmm, sour cream. That's the first time Taco Bell has ever given me enough sour cream. Now, I'm not a big soft taco person, but I figured to be fair, I compare soft tacos too. But as far as grading them and cleanliness, both places were clean. Both places were immaculate. You can get in out of the parking lot here. I don't understand why it was initially why it was so busy it was backed up into 53 unless they got some issue with the parking lot i think it's just design i don't think they were that busy but i could be wrong onward to the soft taco test taco bell soft taco del taco soft taco soft tacos so let's open them up and see what we find this the taco bell taco slightly lighter del taco is heavier it has more ingredients more meat i wonder if they slipped the sour cream in there that time and right in the middle of it there you go that's del taco and taco bell not as much ingredient so let's do the bite test i like that that's good there's more ingredients in in the del taco but they kind of kind of skipped me on the sour cream again so whoever's got the sour cream squirter needs to be uh, coached <laughs> mm. still good i'm so hungry anything tastes good 
But you can see the insides of them. Taco Bell gave me sour cream again. Do you see any sour cream in there? I see sour cream in there. Taco Bell has sour cream, but not as much ingredients. Probably about half the meat. A scant amount of cheese or no tomatoes in Taco Bell. They skimped on that. They skimped on a lot of stuff. He just must have screwed up and gave me sour cream because usually I can't even get squeeze no sour cream out of Taco Bell to begin with. Del Taco, it's a good product. Your ingredients are great. Your cheese is great. You screwed me on the sour cream, but I came prepared. Except I don't have a spoon. I'm just starving to death. So feasibly, if you wanted to get full, we'll go to Del Taco and get more food. I ordered about four times the amount of food that I needed, but I can put them in the refrigerator and eat them later. I did my food comparison. I made it back home. I still have a little indigestion, still burping up tacos. I don't know whether it was Taco Bell or Del Taco that was responsible for that. I liked uh, Del Taco better. Uh, they had a better cheese. They had more ingredients. They didn't shortcut anything except sour cream. I don't know what the deal was with that. I mean, I just got a little tiny touch of sour cream. You couldn't even hardly tell it was there. That was Del Taco. Uh, I don't know if that's born laziness or, or the way they do it or what, I don't really know, I don't really care. The staff was uh, engaging at Del Taco. They were really helpful, really nice. All of them were, uh, especially the one that waited on me. She's, she's really great. Uh, they need to have the staff emulate her. The only other thing I really wanna do is because when I order these things, I usually order too many. I'd like to see how they behave once they've been in the refrigerator for a while and to microwave them up and see what they're like. I've got a couple soft tacos left, one from uh, Taco Bell and one from Del Taco. I'm gonna throw them in the microwave, heat them up, see how they taste reheated. Cause you know, maybe a lot of people don't do that, but uh, I do. So let me see how that looks and uh, let me go get some tacos out of the refrigerator. Now we've got them heated up. The Del Taco one actually holds together, has body, has nice ingredients in it. It did pretty good. The Taco Bell is kind of limp, tendency to erode and just kind of like really loosey-goosey. So it doesn't do as well when it's been refrigerated and reheated. Del Taco, on the other hand, does pretty good. That was the test for uh, reheating them, which is I do quite often. This was uh, the Taco Bell one. You saw that, it looks pretty loose. It's just flimsy, I don't really like it. Doesn't have any body. Doesn't seem to have very much stuff in it. The reheated Taco Bell, no. This is where it goes. And then there's the uh, Del Taco one. Soft taco, been in the refrigerator and reheated. Actually, it looks pretty good. Mmm, it is good. Could use a little sour cream. The tomatoes are good. You can actually taste the tomatoes. That's not bad. Taste the cheese, a little lettuce on there. <clears throat> has plenty of cheese. And it's not bagged cheese either. Yeah, it turned out pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say yeah. That, that's pretty good. Del Taco, you win. Taco Bell, you don't stand a chance. The reheat, taste test. Del Taco, you rule. As full as I am, I still can't resist eating these. Pretty good, even without the sour cream. Dude. Mm. When you make a taco, you get you some sour cream and you put some on the taco. And that way the customer can actually taste it. The taco shell is kind of falling apart a little bit, but it's still holding up. Hey! Hey, hold on.
You want some tacos? No, are you filming yourself eating? Yeah. They charge you 12 cents a taco for extra sour cream.